Uh, so I accessed the uh, career service, um, had a career advisor to help me try and find work and improve my CV. Yeah, so I was, um, I was employed um, just working for a supermarket and I hated it. It was nothing worse than starting at six in the morning and staying there in this dringy petrol station garage for days on end. It, it wasn't an easy time anyway. Um, I didn't know COVID was coming up. <laughs> And when it hit, it was tough because I was stuck there and I needed to find a way out, which is where the career service came in and helped. Mentally, I was in a very bad place. Um, I'd suffered, well, I had clinical depression. And it was, it was really bad. And it, things were just getting worse and worse and worse. And before I'd been looking to the service, I'd, I'd tried to end my life. And it was, that was about a year before I actually accessed the service. I knew I needed to change. I wouldn't be where I am today without service. I, can be, I may not even be here without the service, which is a scary thing to think about now, but it really it helped me that much. So my careers advisor was called Graham. He started out with a lot of just sort of CV surgery, just going through my CV, just keeping me up to date, but I hadn't really done it for years because um, I was at university before and I had a lot of experience with work, but it was all sort of jumbled together and thrown in this rough CV that it was more of a personal statement. Graham helped me just fix it and correct it and put in the bits I really needed and cut out all the waffle. Uh, so all my stuff, um, especially because it was during COVID times, uh, all one-to-one -one telephone calls. It were, a lot of it was over email, which sounds difficult, but it was fantastic. I couldn't have had it feel more in person, it was the best they could have done and I'm really grateful to him for taking the time out because he put in a lot of effort beyond what I'd expect normally. There was a lot of hours where he just called me and helped me and really cared for me. A lot of it was just the CV work because I was already in a job so I didn't need a lot of help trying to find jobs. Mm -hmm. um, but what he did do is he helped me set up my Indeed account as well which really helped because I'd only been applying in paper CVs or phone calls or emails, but I didn't really know how Indeed worked. And Graham sat me down and showed me step by step how to set up my account, how it works and what I could do to improve it. I think for me, the most important part was just, was actually the personality of Graham. Having that person who was just so supportive and so vocal to me really helped me and it really boosted my own confidence because I felt like I could finally sort of confide in some of my struggles and not feel like I'm putting it on someone. It's just it was help. It's weird how a little bit of help can go quite a long way. One of the challenges I faced, I'd, I'd applied for a job um, from all the work Graham had done with me um, and I'd gotten all the way to the final stage. Uh, it was me and one other person and I fell at the last hurdle. It was an email task uh, and I'd literally misspelled one word and that cost me one point because they did it in point system and the person got one point more than me. And they said that at the end, we would have hired you if it was even, but we can't because we have to do it in the point system. Which was really tough to take because it was a simple mistake and something that I looked back and could have changed. From that, everything fell apart. I couldn't move, I didn't know what to do. And I started looking at continuing to work for the supermarket I was working in, just in a bigger capacity. And it ended up destroying my relationship and we split up, which it's quite hard because that was three years of my life, just lost. All because I didn't get a job, which is where it really started. That's when I turned around and was like, what do I do next? And Graham quite helpfully suggested I should look at maybe doing university again. And we used all my work in my CV and my all the personal work and my confidence that we'd done really helped me find the course for me. And I got Graham to write me my reference. And he wrote a fantastic reference for me, which I still use to this day. Uh, so I, I mean, I was adamant. Uh, when I left uni originally, that I didn't want to go back. I never want to do this, I just want to work. It, it took the, it took Graham to really just like, it, it wasn't even totally, he just he said it in the off, like I should look explore my kind of option if I'm really struggling. I thought that was great because the reason he was doing that is because he, he realised in the sort of industry I was going to, which was the marketing industry, it really is helpful to have that sort of degree level at high if I could, I couldn't find a friendship I wanted to do. So I just thought, what, what can I do that puts me above above other people when I'm trying to apply for a job and Graham's like, look for a degree. And I was like, oh yeah, that, that really is a really good advice. Because because of where he got my confidence to, I knew I could do it and I've never been happy. So now I'm, um, I'm at university up in Leeds. It is the best experience I've ever had. I'm so glad I went back. 
that's down to the career service. But also from that, I needed to find a placement for the university course. And I went back to Graham, and this, it was a couple of years ago that I had my, my work with him. And he remembered everything about me the moment I started speaking to him. He knew he could help, and that's when he set me up with CXK. And I've been working there after the department for a few weeks on placement, and again, it's been a fantastic experience, and I owe that to the career service. I'm doing the CXK placement that I'm on at the moment. I'm doing the job that I've always wanted to do, and I love it, and I want to continue doing it wherever that may be as soon as I graduate, and now I know I can.